Howdy, howdy, how is everyone doing this evening? I am Eve with the baby's booty and we are here in the studios and today we are going to play with Solomation. Are you excited? Because I'm super excited about what we have in store tonight. And first off, I would like to let you know that here at the baby's booty, sorry for having y'all bouncing all over God's creation. Ooh, my bad. Uh, to here on the baby's booty channel, we delve into embroidery. Um, we also go into sublimation, uh, rhinestones, the bling, gotta bring the bling. And we also do touch work with vinyl and just about any type craft that comes our way that we can utilize to uh, enhance our embroidery businesses or our businesses, make some money on the side or just have a ton of fun, right? So here at the Baby's Booty, we have our group, which is called the Hoop Group. If you would like to join, there's three different ways you can join. The first way is you can join on our website, which is listed right here, thebabiesbooty.com. Just go there, click at the top where it says um, become a Hoop Group member, and you can sign up there. The second way you can do this is to go on our Facebook page. So if you go to Facebook, you can type in Hoop Group, you can type in The Baby's Booty, and our group should pop up and you can join us on Facebook. Both of those which are free of charge. The third way you can join with us is to sign up right here on YouTube. If you look down in your chat area, if you're not on a mobile device, if you're on a desktop, there if it's not full screen, there should be an option where it says Join. It's beside the subscribe button. You can join up and you can join the Hoop Group, become a member, and help support the channel. It's totally awesome. We got three different levels, um, and each level comes with the option of ordering a bell. So if you would like to have your own bell to ring along with us, just click join and then shoot me. Uh, sorry, no, now you can go to our website and on the main screen, there's a, in the middle of the screen, there's an option to click to request a bell. You have to be a YouTube Hoop Group member. You have to join here on YouTube and then let me know what your YouTube username is and let us know which level you chose and you can get a bell if you would like, but you have to give me your mailing address. Otherwise, I don't know where to send a bell. <laughs> so at any rate, that's why it's a two-step process. But I want to welcome you all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so very much um, for joining us this evening here, your Sunday evening. Now, what I generally like to do is say hello to all the beautiful people who took their time uh, to come and hang with us. Also, keep in mind, as I mentioned, we have our bell where we celebrate with you when you get new babies. Let us know if you got a new baby, whether that's a new sublimation printer, whether that's a new uh, Cricut or Silhouette, or you got a new embroidery machine, sewing machine, serger, something to help enhance your business, let us know so that we can celebrate with you. All right. So going over into the chat, I would like to say hello to Miss Lori hanging out with us from Canada. Hey, Lori, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We have Sam Day 44. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I haven't seen your name before, so thank you for being here. Leah Basanta, hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Isabel, hello. Deborah, hello. How are you? <laughs> welcome. American Eagle Embroideries and Graphics, hello. Hopefully you're home safe or still hanging out. Either way, it's fine. But thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I definitely appreciate that. Miss Shirley Stewart, hey, how are you? Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Miss Social Deb is in the house. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Carol Cohen is here this evening. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. <laughs> he Jay's daughter. And so crafty, hello to the both of you, and thank you both for being YouTube Hoop Group members here on YouTube. I definitely appreciate your awesome support. Wendy G, hello. You're excited about sublimation? Sublimation is awesome sauce. Elizabeth, hello. How are you? LaWanda Drake, hello. Deborah, how are you? Carnell Jeffries, Rhonda CW. Yes, everybody's good. I'm doing great, okay? Doing absolutely fantastic. 
um, dealing with slight allergies, lagging with that. But aside from that, everything's absolutely fantastic here. And we're hoping it's going to stay that way. Lydia Harris. Hello, Donna. Hello, Vicki Thomas. Welcome, Jeanette. Hello from Virginia. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Deborah, I'm sorry, Brenda says hello from Ohio. First time getting to catch you live. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us live. I appreciate you being here. Leah says, hey, first time on live with you. How do I know what materials from Dollar Tree can be sublimated? Glassware and material? Well, <clears throat> when it comes to sublimating things from Dollar Tree, you can pretty much X out anything from the dishes section. So just don't even put it in. <laughs> Don't even put it in your vocabulary. Um, the mugs and glassware, all of that stuff has to have a special polyester coating um, because sublimation is a special ink that once you superheat it to 400 degrees, it will, um, for lack of better words, turn into a gas, all right? So it'll kind of like atomize, well, that's the wrong word, it'll sublimate but it'll turn from the liquid ink to a gas and the surrounding polyester that's near it or touching it will absorb that ink and that's where your actual sublimation transformation comes from. So the item that you are going to sublimate has to have some form of polyester coating, okay? So whether that's uh, fleece, which is made out of 100% polyester, um, now at Dollar Tree, their oven mitts, um, and their pot holders, the squares and the mitts, are made out of polyester. So you can get the lighter color versions of those, like your blue, um, the red. You can actually sublimate black ink on that and put a name or something like that on those. That's an option from Dollar Tree. Um, also at Dollar Tree, I believe some of their socks are um, polyester based. Um, so you want to look for the highest level. You know what? That's what I should have did. I should have got my sublimation samples um, and found those so that I could show you guys those and I think I know where they are and if that's if where I'm thinking is correct I'll pull them out and show you um, some sublimation samples that would that makes a difference when you're doing 100% poly polyester um, and no cotton versus 80% polyester and 20% cotton and 50% polyester and 50% cotton there's a big difference, a huge difference, and it will help you um, once you're getting into your sublimation journey. But in, in preparation for what we have going on with our show tonight, I'm going to kind of like stop the chat right here and show you some of the things that we will be sublimating tonight. Okay, so tonight we were sent some really cool things from Condé Systems. Um, Condé Systems is ditrans.com and they have sublimation blanks for days. They have so many sublimation blanks, it's actually scary. So they sent us quite a few um, blanks that we're going to have some fun sublimating tonight, one of which is a bottle cooler. Um, I unfortunately do not have a bottle like a, um, this is more like if I'm remembering or thinking correctly, this would be more for a, uh, glass bottle, like a beer bottle, wine cooler, or, um, root beer type glass bottle. Pretty sure that's what fits down in here. I haven't actually tried a water bottle. A water bottle might work, and I apologize, um, you guys, for my dogs acting complete monkeys out there, um, but someone is uh, probably making noise in the yard behind us. But at any rate, so this we are going to sublimate, um, and as you see, it looks kind of similar to what you probably could pick up at the Dollar Tree. But it's not. There is some type of coating on this. You can't feel it. And looking at it, you can't see it. But it's been prepared so that you can sublimate on it. Okay? So this is one thing that we're going to be sublimating tonight if I can get my sublimation transfer to cooperate. We haven't tested that before the show, and we should have, but I did not. Um, we also have a can cooler. 
And here is a super cute can cooler. And we'll be sublimating this as well. Now with the with this can cooler, I actually could use my mug press because it's small enough. It's about the size of a coffee mug. So I could use my mug press with this. And you would want to take this plastic ring, this plastic lid off because this has a, like a rubber grommet right here at top to hold the can. And this is the part that we would um, sublimate or put in either the mug press or the oven. But I brought my oven tonight, so we'll be looking at this in the oven. Um, but this also has a coating on it that you can't see or feel. It feels and looks and sounds just like metal, but you can sublimate on this, all right? And we got it. We got us a, a, a sweet can of ginger ale that we're going to keep cool on here. And then you, you put it in and then you screw the lid on and you're keeping your ginger ale nice and frosty. So that's what uh, our can cooler is right here. And we'll be sublimating this. Um, also, just to give you, there are some things that you can look for. Sorry, I'm going to get to that in a minute. I just... I don't want to skip over the rest of this stuff and go to that, go to Dollar Tree stuff and then come back to this. So we also have some Neato um, glasses. And these are, I should have sublimated one ahead of time, but these are like your, your um, that you would wear for a party or something that goes over your eyes with decorations and such on them. It's not real glasses. Uh, we have some with, um, I think these are stars or something. Yeah, this one has stars on the glasses that, that sit on top of the glasses. And this one has little signs that sit on top of the glasses. So these are going to be some comical things, fun to sublimate and play with. And we also have some puzzles. So these puzzles, this particular type of puzzle from Die Trans is more of a, it's not like your stiff cardboard puzzle. It's not. It kind of puts me in the mind of like the glasses. And this is awesome for like little kids where they can, you know, play with it and you ain't got to worry about you know, tearing it up or anything like that. So they're like a, a felt type material. I don't know how else to explain that. Oh, it put me in the mind of the air fresheners. That's what this puts me in the mind of. So here's a heart-shaped puzzle that we'll be sublimating. Um, and we also have a teddy bear-shaped puzzle that we'll be sublimating, okay? If we get to all of it, we might not get to all of these, but either way, um, at some point, I will pull each one out for you to see it. Um, and if we don't get to it, then that's something that we probably can do a quick Facebook Live on whichever one or ones we didn't get to get to tonight. So... But first and foremost, we're going to start with our coolers, and they're going to be in the oven once we get that up nice and toasty. But going back to Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Five Below, those places you can find things to practice and sublimate on um, without having to do anything else to it. But they're, again, going back to polyester-based. You're looking at... Um, like pillowcases that are polyester. Satin pillowcases are usually always polyester. You can sublimate on those. Um, Five Below had some rugs um, that had polyester in them, like bath rugs. You can do sublimation on those. Um, I got this from Five Below. This specific one is not sublimation, but some of them have uh, like a glitter coating to it. Glitter usually is made out of polyester. Go figure. So you can, if you find a glittery one, you should be able to sublimate it. You can give it a shot. Um, I've sublimated a purple glitter one from Walmart, um, and it turned out really cute. And that wasn't a sublimatable um, item. It wasn't sold as something sublimation. But certain things you can look for that will allow you to get, you know, lesser things that you can sublimate on. But if you want to be 100% sure that you can sublimate on it, 
these guys here, dietrans.com, they have tons and tons and tons of blanks, as I mentioned before. And they also will now be offering um, our viewers special coupon discounts. Now, in the past, they were offering next tier pricing, but what they were finding out is you were only saving a few cents um, in the difference of the price. So now what they're doing is just offering a bigger coupon that you can use with your purchases. You just have to let them know that we sent you and they'll get you in on that regular coupon special um, for your purchases. So again, these guys, all of their stuff is hands down sublimation. Okay. You don't have to worry about whether it's not going to work or not. Calvin Alvarado, hello, how are you? Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss 143, hello, and thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. She says, happy Sunday, glad to be here. <laughs> and she's celebrating this week, awesome sauce. Weddings Designs, hello, how are you? Um, Miss Ethel Smith, hey, Miss Ethel Smith, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us. And thank you very, very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Beverly Smith, Miss Elizabeth, hello, how are you? Welcome. So, so creative from Alabama, welcome. Nick Knack Nurse, hey dear, how are you? Welcome. Avery Head, hello. Leah, hello. And you just got a sublimation printer? Which one did you get? So please let us know. Katrina Gosha, hello, how are you? T Moore, hello to you as well. Karen Murray, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And I already see a bell ring going in on us. Once we find out about the um, printer from Leah, let us know which printer you got so that we can ring the bell for you. Miss Beverly Smith, though, got the Husqvarna Viking Topaz 50. She got an awesome sauce embroidery machine. So congratulations, Miss Beverly Smith, on your new baby. <laughs> Congratulations on your embroidery machine. Please be sure to post uh, your projects and the things that you've been working on so that we can see them um, and uh, enjoy your work with you. That's going to be totally awesome to see. Uh, Vicki Thomas, hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us new to our channel. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Tiffany Lowry, hello, Tiffany, how are you, Mary, hello, Padme, 1413, just got a brother, Stellaire, and a scan and cut, nice, congratulations, woo, baby, <laughs> congratulations, <Woo! laughs> sweet, that's what's up, please, you as well, join the hoop group, and show us your awesome sauce designs and things that you're working on, we'd love to see it. Um, let us see. Robin White from Georgia. Welcome, Gail. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Joan Wesley from Fort Myers, Florida. Hello. How are you? Marianne. Hello. Anita Jennings. Hello. Miss Debbie D. Hey, Debbie D. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. What in the world is going on here? Um, let us see. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty, let me turn you guys down so I don't blow your ears. Hopefully that'll help us out some. And then, thank you. Um, Kingsbury Craft, hello, Miss Debbie Kidd. I am glad to hear that you are home. Joanna Holmes, hello, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Awesome sauce. Let's see. I want to make sure I didn't lose my place. Anita Jennings. I think I said hi. If I didn't, hello. Welcome. Uh, let us say Sharon. Hello from deep northeast Texas. First time in months that you've been able to catch. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back. Thank you for joining us this evening. We have snow here this evening, she says. Wow, that's awesome. We had a little bit this week. It wasn't much. It was a dusting, but we did get to get us some. <laughs> So that was awesome. Um, let us see. Let us see. Hey, Miss Mary Stovall, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. 
Miss Pearl Lucas. Hello. Leah says you saw those in our last video. Awesome. 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 Sammy Strun says been sublimating for about four months now. Yes, I'm glad you love it. That's what we need to hear because there are <clears throat> so many folks out here that don't realize just how much fun they can have with this sublimation. It is very fun. I love sublimation. It's like so super easy. Um, Let's see. Patrina says you have just been blessed with the singer xl580 and a new friend who showed me how to do it awesome sauce well congratulations hopefully the bell won't be super loud this time but congratulations Katrina. <laughs> congratulations to you and your new singer baby please be sure to um <clears throat> post any pictures that you have we would love to see your projects that you're working on um laverne says you're you got your business name sweet creative creations that is awesome and a lot of work but it's worth it it'll be worth it in the end especially once you get um everything squared and up and running and making money under your business name girl it's a good feeling <laughs> elizabeth says when you say sublimation is that the same as cricket infusible ink process basically basically yes um, Cricut created the infusible ink once they saw that the sublimation bandwagon was catching some steam. Um, and then they came out with their own line of sublimation inks and they call it the infusible ink. Um, it's <clears throat> very, pretty much the same thing, uh, but it's their ink. So I don't know. I haven't used their infusible ink products yet. Um, no particular reason why not is I guess because I already know sublimation. So, you know, I haven't invested in any of the infusible ink things. Um, so I don't know if there's temperature differences and stuff like that. But with the sublimation, your base temperature is usually about 400. It may be dropped down to 380, but around about that. And you can sublimate tons and tons of things. Treasure Designs, hello from Columbus, Georgia. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Ray Williams, hello, welcome. You got your bell, sweet. The mail has delayed tons and tons and tons of stuff. I am so sorry, but I'm glad you got your bell and you got to ring it with us tonight. That's what's up. Um, <clears throat> will Conde be running a sale on sublimation printers? I don't know. That I don't know. I um usually when I go to Conde, I I'm strictly blank type folks. I haven't looked at the um I haven't looked at the uh printers and heat presses and stuff like that. Um so I've pretty much looked at just the blank. I don't know if they have any sales on their printers. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you with that. Carolina Thread Place, hey Will, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Hopefully we won't be on too long for you. It is good to have you here. Kimberly Armstrong, welcome. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member here on our channel. Latoya, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Embroidery Diva, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Awesome sauce. Uh, Kingsbury Crafts is saying, hey, I, I love it when family members see family. That's that's one of the things that just absolutely tickles my fancy um here in our channel dala martinez welcome hopefully dahlia welcome thank you for joining us for the first time we appreciate you being here y'all simone warren welcome thank you for joining us welcome hey <laughs> chris boyle hello how are you welcome thank you for joining us oh leah leah she got the epson et4700 and she converted it to sublimation awesome sauce congratulations leah on your new sublimation printer, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Sublimation in the house. Congratulations. Sublimation. So, girl, you know you got to be watching with us tonight because these puzzles will be perfect on your, uh, under your sublimation ink, a new ink printer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have, oh, there we go. I keep losing my place. Miss Lady D, hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. 
let us see Latanya Way says she got the brother Inibus in Q1600. E, congratulations! Thank you, you baby embroidery in the house. <laughs> we got a lot of embroidery projects that'll be coming up here soon, so I'm excited to be uh, seeing all the new embroidery babies that are coming in here. Charlene Mitchell, hello, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for the, uh, Chris says, thank you for the video on the refund, too small, please. <laughs> yeah, that thing was crazy because, uh, oh, I'm really low now. Oh, man. Okay, we'll turn it back up but a little bit. But the, um, that order from them, from that particular customer, y'all, let me tell y'all a little bit about this. This was crazy. This is another lesson, a lesson learned, actually, and I may do a part two to that video Actually, a part two. Well, that part will go in with the part two. So, yes. Um, this particular customer sent me this order initially back in early December. I'll say December the 7th. She sent this order, and she ordered it as a rush order. She was like, I need this. I need it now. And I'm like, okay, well, if you need it right away, because I have a set turnaround time. Everyone gets the same quote of my set turnaround time. Unless I'm already busy, then they get a little bit longer of a turnaround time. And she was asking for the way I set it is five days or less is my rush time. And there is an additional rush fee. So I told her, I said, well, you got to pay the rush fee. And uh, she had her own shirts. And I was asking her to mail the shirts to me because now I don't allow customers to come here. Um, I have them ship whatever they want me to do or I order what they want done and I get it here. Uh, but she already had her own shirts and she didn't even want to ship. So I was like, okay, I'll tell you what. You pay the rush fee, I'll come pick it up from you and then meet you to drop the stuff back off. Easy, should have been. Um, she also wanted to supply me her files, her embroidery files. Okay, that's fine too. But whatever files I receive is what I stitch out. I'm not, you know, I didn't digitize it. So if it's not digitized in a manner that you like, that was whomever you had digitized. I can't guarantee how it's going to stitch out. So she sends me the files. Actually, no, she didn't send me the file. Yes, she did. She sent me two files. One file was correct. The other file wasn't the main one. That main big one to go across the chest was not the right file. And I told her, I said, I don't think this is the design you were looking for. She said, no, it's not. Let me contact the person and I'll get it back to you. Now, needless to say, she, my customers, I require that they pay in full up front because I don't, it's not fun having to look for your money after the job is done. So she, I guess, contacted the person. I don't understand why they took so long to get back to her. But I think it was like the 17th or something like that. They finally got back to her. And they sent her a file, the files in um, format of, uh, oh gosh, Melco. The Melco embroidery machine, the Melco program. So that file is, is you know, to Melco only. You have to have a Melco machine in order to, or computer, to open this file. And I was like, okay, well, your generic embroidery file is DST. I don't, I at least need a DST file. So she had to contact them back and it took even longer for them to, do the file in the DST format. So when she finally got the DST format back to me, we're talking about now like December the 26th or the 27th or something like that. It was it was crazy. It was like 20 days, almost a whole month, almost. And I'm like, okay, well, it's in DST format. And when I open it up and I'm looking at this file in the DST format and it's the wrong file. So the signature that's supposed to go all the way across the chest is four inches wide. It's a little bitty four inch. And I'm like, 
I don't think this is the right file either, my dear. I'm sorry to tell you that. She was so upset. She was like, I just can't keep spending money like this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, I can't help you. You wanted to send me the file from your people, whomever you're having do this. You know, first of all, you she sent me a picture one time of one shirt that it looked like she already had embroidered. So I'm like, why are, are you paying for this to be digitized again? And she said no. So I don't know why she's saying keep spending money, but I, I whatever. So I told her, look, just have him send the what is supposed to be 12 inches. So he finally sent the file back in DST, larger size, but instead of it being 12 inches, y'all, it was 15 inches. And I told her at this point, this was, today is Sunday, that was three days, three days ago, I told her, I was like, look, it's still the wrong size, but I tell you what, this, I can fix it. I'm just going to go ahead and just fix it for you. So I threw it in the Sewer Pro, shrunk it just that little bit, stitched it out and took it to her within the three days and y'all she asked for her um she asked to get a refund on the rush fee well being that i did digital work for you that i did not charge you for to adjust your file that you sent me that was incorrect being that i had to drive roughly 20 minutes, um, 20, 20 minutes to give you and pick up your items, which is very out of the norm for me. And when I finally did get the file, it was not five business days. It was three business days or three days. It wasn't business days. Normally I operate business days. I'm here on a Sunday, three days after getting the wrong right file. Sorry, I'm, I'm a, a refund of the rush fee. I refunded you for the cuff, but a refund of the rush fee too? No, I got right on it when I was able to get on it and had the right file. So I told her, you know, that was like a no-go. And she was like, oh, okay. And she appreciated it. I guess, you know, can't hurt to ask, right? But I, um, I, uh, but that's what happened with that. So to... If I had have tried to embroider the sleeve, because I did have the embroidery, the right embroidery file from the beginning for the sleeve. I just didn't have the main logo. If I had have checked that when she first brought me the shirt, then I probably would have been able to forewarn warn her um, that we wouldn't have been able to do the sleeve. But as it turns out, I guess it's all right. But um, I did get it back to her and hopefully... Um, It'll be all right, and I won't get any kickback from anything later. But at any rate, that was the story and how that video came about. And when I realized that my uh, sleeve didn't fit on that machine, and I was like, Ugh. see, this is the type stuff that I wish somebody had have said, you know what, you might want to pay attention to this if you ever get that type of order. So that's why I went, up, went ahead and did the video, because I didn't pay that I, I didn't think of that. I did not think to check the sleeve size to make sure it was going to fit on my embroidery machines. And so, you know, if all I had was a single needle machine, I would have known, you know, I can't do that without taking it apart. But I didn't know that's what she was going to want. So, um, well, let me, I did know that's what she was going to want, but I didn't know the shirt was going to be too small. So at any rate, back to the chat really quickly. A couple of more names. Miss Andrea, hello. Sharon B, hello. How are you? Hopefully y'all can hear me now. Scooby-Doo. Hey, Scooby-Doo. How are you? Welcome, my dear. Hopefully you're feeling better as well. Thank you for joining us. And thank you so much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, Lupe says, I want an Epson sublimation printer, but still thinking. I understand, Lupe. It's an investment. And the investment can be, um, you know, you, you, you definitely want to make an investment at a right time. So if you have to still think about it, that's okay. But we're going to show you some of the things that you can do if you do decide to do so. And Beth, thank you for letting me know that the sound was too low. Hopefully everything is great. Now, Cricut does use 400 as well. Thank you. 
Elizabeth, thank you very, very much. Let me scroll down. Is the sound better? Let me see. Gail Whitaker says, thank you. I don't know if she was talking much better. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Weddings Designs, hello. Thank you also for letting me know that the sound was gone. And Cheryl Milton, I apologize, y'all. Sometimes doing this stuff, Olivia as well, sometimes doing all of this can throw us off our groove and making sure but I also didn't want the bell was so loud I didn't want the feedback and um we wanted to make sure you guys didn't get discomfort from the bell ringing Shellen and Sheila welcome thank you also for letting me know that the sound was low Jaws mom 824 I love your name <laughs> and thank you for letting me know that you couldn't hear uh Diane yes take a look at that sublimation it is a lot of fun it really really is um, let's see, let's see, let's see, Margo, hello, how are you, welcome, um, Scooby-Doo, I didn't have, I have so what Pro, and then I even reached out in a couple of the embroidery groups to ask for someone to help me convert it, and no one had the ability, I guess, or maybe the folks who did have the ability wasn't willing to convert it for me, uh, or save it as a DST, but I couldn't save it. I tried, and it was like, mm, no. So I did try. I definitely tried because I was like, I wanted to get those shirts done. They were sitting in my studio, and I wanted them up out of here. I don't like for folks to sit here. Um, Loni, hello. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. Oliviera, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And yes, I am feeling better. Catherine is getting snow in Austin as well. Welcome. Rita Young from Australia. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Lysandra Booker. Hey, my dear from Batesville. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And Lonnie says, I got my first embroidery machine, a PE 535. We like that 535, girl. That's that 4x4 four four magic going on. <laughs> Woo! Awesome sauce. Yes. Congratulations on your new baby. Baby, baby, baby. Um, M Blackwood, welcome, and Jane, welcome. Football got priority. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at all. Some of them men folks is cute out there on that field. And congratulations for uh coming on in and hanging with us. And let's see. Made by Q, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Gail Moore says she gifted herself a brother PE 550D. Disney embroidery machine. Congratulations, ma'am. Yes, another baby. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. I'm excited about all of these embroidery babies, y'all. We're going to have us some fun. Shonda Coleman says, glad you're feeling better. My husband bought me an Epson 2720 printer for sublimation, so I'm excited that I made it to tonight's live and even if you are MIA we understand but congratulations meanwhile on your sublimation prayer <laughs> yeah. now if you have your bell make sure you ring in your bell with us as long as it ain't you know disturbing the cat to the dog so let's get into some sublimation y'all so one of the first things I have turned on the heat press okay the heat press is on and I have, as I mentioned, we'll start with the easy stuff. Um, actually, no, we kind of need to start with the cool can thing. But I have to admit that I have not designed anything yet to go on any of this stuff. So we're going to kind of like be starting from scratch. And I would like to... Um, I wish I could share my screen, but I know that'll probably cause problems with our signal and cause lag and all that cool stuff, and I don't want that. So, usually, when you purchase anything from Ditrans.com, it will come with a link to your templates. As a matter of fact, they'll have, and when you log into Ditrans.com, if you go to your orders, You'll have a special section on the side that will link you to your templates. And the templates are to help you with Photoshop, with, you know, whatever graphics program like Corel or whatever you choose to use 
it will help you by giving you templates that match your item that you're going to be working on. Well, I have a, a section on there with my templates as well. And I usually would have to scroll through all those templates and stuff. And I chose not to do that tonight. So we are going to do this the hard way. So if you decide to get something like if you were to find a glitter tumbler or something like that at Walmart or wherever and you want to just play around, this is how you would make your template, right? So one of the first things I like to do is measure how tall it is and then we'll go around the diameter of it, okay? So I'll know what size, number one, what size paper I need to use. So say for instance, um, you know, I may need to use 13 by 19 size paper or I may need to use 11 by 17. And if my printer only does eight and a half by 11, then I'll know, hey, I may not be able to sublimate all the way around this whole thing. Okay, so that's um, what you want to check for first. Also, um, it lets you know how to set up your design and what size design you want to use and how to lay it out of whatever it is that you're going to put on it. So here we have four inch tall can cooler. And if I wrap this all the way around like I do when I measure just how fat my tummy and hips are, we'll see that we go about 10 inches around on this can cooler so we want to do 10 by 4 okay 10 by 4 in our design so that's smaller than 17 by 11 eight and a half by 11 would work as well but um my favorite size to fool around with is 11 by 17 so we're going to do that and while we're at it we'll go ahead and measure how tall this one is so the first one was 4 by 10 this one is going to be six inches, six inches by nine. So this one is six by nine, okay? Easy enough to remember. So six by nine and then 10 by four. So let me go into my, unfortunately, I can't, I hate, I cannot flip this over. So that you guys can see it, that is beyond annoying. Um, let us come here. Actually, I'm gonna move this, and then I'm gonna pull this up. Okay. Oh, I really wish y'all could see this. This is this is the part that I I wish I could um, fix, but I can't. Cannot fix it. And that's what we deal with. So, what program do I use um, when I am doing my editing? I prefer to use uh, Photoshop. I think that's what this is called. Yeah, Adobe Photoshop. And the reason why I prefer Adobe is because I have come to learn it and it is has quickly become a favorite of mine. So that's why I like Adobe Photoshop. Uh, what am I going to put on this mug? I think maybe I name or... Because usually when I do stuff on the show, I'll put McQuackens or something like that. So let's see what we have here. Um, I do cans a lot. So, well, that's cute. I don't really want that on the can cooler. Gimp is a good free... Uh, similar version to Photoshop, uh, and unfortunately at this exact moment, I can't see who said that, but thank you, because that is definitely true. Um, let us see. Hey. 
And I'm trying not to put stuff that, um, she said Scooby-Doo is the best. <laughs> I probably should. You know what? That's one of the things I do like to put on my, um, tumblers is pictures that I've taken with, ooh, I just came across a picture of Prince and my brain was like, Bing, let's put Prince on there. Um, but back to non-silliness, I do usually like to put pictures of where I've met people and put it on my stuff because it just, it, it, it just, because I've met so many amazing members of the Hoop group and it's just phenomenal to have mementos of that whenever I just want to sit back and think about all the fun times I've had and all the awesome people I've met. It's just really cool. So that is why I do like to put pictures of folks on there. <sighs> I just don't want to do McClackens. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sitting here scrolling through stuff and I really need to be making a choice. So I think I'm going to put this picture here. It's going to be a family picture. Well, not quite family, but let me go back up to it. I just saw it. And that's the other thing about sublimation. If you haven't noticed, um, there you can put anything. That's why I prefer sublimation over vinyl and stuff like that. Because all you have to do is... You can take any regular photo, hopefully a high quality photo, and you can sublimate it onto um, a sublimatable item. Where did my picture go? Now I'm about to be frustrated because I saw it just now. And I'm wasting time. What time is it? It's a quarter till, and we got more stuff to sublimate. So, I am. Um, Okay. Was it in my other thing? Hold on. I apologize. Place embedded. Oh, it was in the wrong place. I was looking in the wrong place. I saw it somewhere else. Here we go. Okay. So this is um, me and my honey. My honey. Um, let's move this to right here. Perfect. Actually, very perfect. Man, I couldn't have gotten more perfect than that. Okay. So this I am going to print out, hopefully. Meanwhile, I am also looking very forward to doing our upcoming embroidery projects. Okay. So our embroidery projects are going to be quite a few in the hoop projects. So really looking forward to that. Um, we'll have some 4 by 4 on there. Actually, Scooby-Doo, I probably should have put Scooby-Doo as the best this is, but, you know, we'll be out there. Goes. How much should you charge for sublimation forever blessed uh, mentioned, which is an excellent question. Um, sublimation, a lot of it is going to depend on the price of your blank, first and foremost. Um, what you can do to make life easy, well, no, you can't do that either because um, it's also going to be it's also going to depend on the size of whatever it is that you're sublimating. So you can't just say, all right, I'm going to charge. Well, actually you can. So usually if you have a printer like mine, which is the older, it's the Epson 7710 or like the 7720. Whatever your printer is, what is your, pay, your paper sizes? If you can do 8 by 10 and... 11 by 17 and that's all you can do. Okay, so you have two paper sizes that you can price. 
right? And a full page, no matter what it is, if it's one full page, then you can say, well, I'm going to charge this much per page, all right? And if whatever it is the person is bringing to you is smaller than the one page and you can do the eight and a half by 11, then you can charge per page with that. Hang on, let me grab this and make sure, yeah, I got some scissors. But as far as the, this is me and my honey, as far as the, um, as far as the charge, that's going to be something that you would have to figure out for lack of better words or what you want to charge. I actually don't have a set price like that. I'm just, I was merely suggesting that as something you could do if it was, um, to make it easier for you. But there's no guarantee with that either, y'all, right? Because, oh, let me turn the thing on. There we go. All right. Um, but at any rate, back to your question on pricing sublimation. Um, I've seen prices all across the board. I'm going to be honest with you. And as far as me, I don't have a set price. So a lot of it is going to depend on the job, what materials I'm going to have to use. Like, for instance, these little puzzles right here, I probably wouldn't charge very much for them. I'll look up the price because I don't even know what the price is. They sent them to us, so I don't know what the price is. These are, so these are the FP2020H, so FP2020H, okay? These are the sublimation blank felt puzzle. It's 23 pieces, and you get five to a pack, okay? Um, where's the price? If you get one to 30 or 29, one to 29 of these, they are $18, but you get five. You get five of these for $18. Um, so let's see. 15 divided by five is three, but y'all know I'm not good at math, so I'm just going to use a calculator. 18 divided by five. So you're paying basically $3.60 per heart shape puzzle okay so you need to add to that and this is definitely looks like a sheet of paper would fit over it to print it I would still stick with my 11 by 17 so 11 by 17 sheet and this amount of ink some people may want full bleed color or whatever so just assume that and set your price so if it's three dollars and sixty cents per puzzle and you want to mark these up ten dollars a puzzle maybe so that's pretty much how i've seen people do it they just kind of like guess and go at it from there but i don't have a set price if there's someone in here let's do it this way if there's someone in here who sublimates regularly and they sell their sublimation things regularly let us know but like this is going to be much, much more than $3.60. And I have to use it in my oven. I can't just put this on the heat press. So to me, this is going to have a higher charge, a higher cost. Because I'm not trying to um, be putting stuff in the oven all the time type situation. I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth. So... In the hoop hand sanitizer holder. Um. Oh, you're talking about um. An in the hoop project. All right. So, I did not. Uh. What's the word? I didn't cut this down or print it out at the right size so there's overhang here. I'm checking to make sure that 
Yes. I did size it the length around wise, but I didn't size it the four inches up and down. So uh will be what I could. No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna cut it down because I don't want to have too much hanging off. So we're gonna cut this right here. I'm just using regular old scissors. So it's a good possibility because I'm not at my cutting table with my rotary cutter and my ruler that I'm cutting this all kinds of wrong, but at this point, I don't care. Because this will be mine for me and my honey to share. All right, now, ordinarily, when I put something in the oven, I would use my uh, shrink wrap. Something deep down in my little soul tells me that I really should be using my shrink wrap right now. But y'all know how we do on this channel where we just going to go with the gusto, not quite do things quite just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that... You can see what happens if you do, what happens if you don't. And dagnabbit, we going to get it done anyway. And I specifically moved my heat tape over here so that I wouldn't have to look for it. And now I'm looking for it because the heat tape is all the way over on the printer. Why would I leave it all the way over on the printer when I specifically told myself to bring it here to the desk? All right. Let me grab this. And if need be, I'll definitely grab the shrink wrap for the tall tumbler. Y'all, should I get the shrink wrap? What, you, what say you? Should I get the shrink wrap? Because if I get the shrink wrap, that means I'm going to have to go all the way in the other room, get the shrink wrap and the heat gun so that I can show you how all that works. So, sorry. I didn't even show this part. So, as you see, I have quite a bit of overhang here. And all I'm doing, my main thing is when you're tipping up and drinking, you're mainly going to see this top part is not really all about the bottom. It's about the top. The shrink wrap will make sure that all parts of this is sucked tight to the cup. And I'm probably, I probably am going to go ahead and cut this to the right size because I don't like, um, all that extra hang off. Yes, yeah, shrink wrap. Get the wrap. It has divots. Depending upon, let's see, get it. <sighs> Y'all just, uh, Y'all got me getting up. Let me mark this first. So I can make sure to cut this. And all I'm doing is, and I'll show you here in a sec. All I did was lay it down and use my pen to mark a little red line in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So that I can cut this properly. And then on top of that, I got to remember, I think I know where the shrink wrap is, though. Pretty sure I know where the shrink wrap is. And then I got these wimpy little scissors that are supposed to be for my embroidery vinyl. Cutting paper with it. Shame. Okay. So, got me and my honey. I'm using Silhouette software to my design and use the Cameo to cut it at a proper size. That's smart. Now, that's that's actually pretty pretty smart to do is to use the cutting machine. Um, I personally prefer my uh, cutting table only because I have so many rulers and stuff already laid out for me over there. And I don't have to worry about too much. Okay, so I got it wrapped around the cup. And now I'm going to apply heat tape. The oven that I'm using, you'll be able to see it here up close and personal here in a moment. I got a um, Hamilton, yeah, Hamilton Beach XL uh, uh, convection oven is what I purchased. And when I purchased this, it was like 65 bucks from Walmart at the time. Okay, so we got our heat tape, and I have it on here. Oh, you have a cost layout somewhere? I don't, 
I don't see it. Um, and it's probably up high. So if you see the cost uh, that he put down, then definitely. Oh, it all depends on items cost, paper, dye, electricity. Uh, for wholesale, you discount and dependent upon the quality. Quantity, sorry. Um, okay, so let me get my, um, let me go get the ink, uh, not ink, shrink wrap. And meanwhile, what I will do is sublimate this puzzle and send it to somebody. I'll sublimate this puzzle and send it to someone. So tell me who wants to get a Sir McQuacken's puzzle and we'll sublimate him on that because he's easy to sublimate. And I already have the camera set up so that you can see the mug in the oven. going to commandeer my daughter's heat gun to shrink up this stuff and hopefully hopefully I won't uh, trip no breakers and stuff and blow us all the kingdom come because I got a heat press going I got a um oven now going. I got a lot going on right now. And then that book is in there. Ugh. So I'm going to cut the oven, cut the oven off because I don't want fire! YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Oh my gosh, I'm buffering. Hold on. All right, moving around too much, I think. Okay, because it said it's straight now. So hopefully, sorry about that if it buffered. All right, so heat gun, shrink wrap. Now I do like shrink wrap. I'm not buffering. Okay, cool. Um, I do like shrink wrap. Shrink wrap is super cool. Let's see. So basically, you get a sleeve. Right, and this goes down in. Now this is actually pretty big, so you can cut it down if you so choose to do so. Definitely cut it this way because you don't want to have a whole ton of that going on. So I'm gonna cut it across. So all I'm doing is just cutting it at the four inches. And then I'm going to cut a little bit off this end and then I'm going to tape it uh, with the heat tape and then shrink wrap it. All right, so I'm going to open this up. Now it's not a tube anymore, but that's okay because I'm just going to wrap this around, wrap this rascal. Wrap it around. All right, same way I did with the paper, and I'm going to use tape all the way down that seam. I know, come on, tape. Whoops. All 
All right, tape down the seam. And I'm going to hold my hand. Now, this is going to be hot when you do the shrink wrap, so please be careful. I generally like to heat wrap on low, uh, mainly because it can help keep me from getting burned. Or let's do the smart thing. Let's put it on this. Nope, that ain't going to work. It won't fit that way either. Let's find something to put in this so that we won't be burning ourselves. And of course, right now I can't find anything, so we're gonna have to take a chance and burn ourselves because I, I can't keep up. Oh, it ain't even plugged in. What the heck did I plug up? If I didn't plug this in, oh god. There we go. Things we should have done before we came on the show. Alright. Alright, see how it's shrinking to like vacuum sealing it almost. Low shrink wrap. And I see something that may pose a problem, and I'm going to point it out, only because it's been a problem in the past. But I don't know how well you can see this is rippled up here because it's overlapping. Um, hopefully that won't cause my um, image at the top to have wrinkle to it. I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully it won't. But like I said, this is mine. But to help eliminate that you would need to lay the paper no higher than the lip so that it'll lay smooth and flat up against it so meanwhile let me take this because this thing sounds like it's popping kind of like how my pants waistline does when you overeat like it's getting ready to bust wide open you know all right so we got this it's shrink wrapped to and holding that paper tight up against this and this is going to go in the oven so while we are Carmen says she wants the puzzle okay that would be awesome email me your address and we'll put a ducky on there for you she says use the other bottle one we will Amazon has a clear sublimation shrink wrap I have not used it I haven't either I didn't know they had a well yeah I did know they had a clear one because people use it for gift baskets so let's go here, and we're going to go here, and we're going to go to, oh my gosh, I put in can cooler because I want to make sure of the time they suggest because you they also have instructions on times and such so that you will do the right thing cuz what they didn't do That's weird. Okay. Mm. Bottle cooler. Um, let's see. They said it was new, but they didn't send me three minutes, thirty seconds at four hundred degrees. <laughs> so we gonna turn turn this back on. Nope, nope, nope. 
gonna turn this back on and then we are going to do the three minutes and 30 seconds and to go ahead and do this as well actually where do you get the shrink wrap from the shrink wrap this shrink wrap that i got was from uh Conde. Paper towel holder. Felicia said she wanted the puzzle too. Hello, Michelle Rosencrans. Welcome. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube group member. All right, so I put me and my honey on that one. So I'm going to find a family picture for the other. And I'm going to have to remeasure. I think it was six by, pretty sure it was six by uh, nine, but I'm going to double check. Six. Yep, six by nine. So let's get this up to six. Bye. Oh, you know what? Let's just. No, I don't have to worry about it. Yay. All right, so I am going. I am going to. Oh, I didn't know Synergy did Scooby Doo. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, place embedded. <laughs> you definitely don't want football stuff on my mug let's go here what do I have nothing it's sad that I don't have pictures like I should on my computer what does that say I have more embroidery files and embroidery designs than I have um, family pictures and such. For shame. Alright, so let's do this again. Um. Don't want to do that. Um, oh, here we go. So what I think I may do is this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. What did I say? This was six inches tall. So first of all, nope, I don't want to do that. And then I said 10. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. All right, oh, uh, let's do that. Thank you. Sorry for the silence. I apologize. I'm trying to get this picture. These pictures. I'm actually going to splice. 
a couple of pictures together to go on the bottle cooler. of my children and I think that would be super cute because I don't think I have a um which is kind of sad I don't oh here it is with the boys I don't think I have a picture with my my youngins on there I mean uh, um what am I trying to tell y'all I don't even know right now I want that to overlap. There we go. Yas. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Alright, now, sorry about that. Even though. Oh, I gotta put paper in the printer. I don't have paper in the printer. Let's put you guys in front of the oven so that you can say. Hopefully, I didn't tear up the signal. So, here is oven view. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven so that you can see oven vision. Oven vision. 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 You like the echo, right? So, this is super hot. We'll sit there right in the middle. And we said, what, three minutes and 30 seconds? So I don't have a Siri out here. But I do have my cell phone. So we're going to set the timer. That's a. Uh, Shrink wrap is not happy in there. Look, it blew. Oh, no. Y'all see that? That's crazy. Y'all got to see craziness. That's what this channel is all about. We do crazy. We do crazy. Don't mess with me. We do crazy. All right. That was definitely wasted 30 seconds. Oh, paper. Okay, we do crazy. We lack for stuff to go crazy. Okay. So we're going to have to do that without the shrink wrap. The second one, we're going to leave the bigger shrink wrap on so it helps pull it apart. And now my studio has this horrid burning plastic smell. All right, so now we have that printing. Our heart-shaped puzzle 
while y'all are watching my cup, making sure they don't burn me to smithereens. Alright, we've got um, a little bit longer. It looks like I can see the ink. Yeah, I can see the ink of the picture a little bit bleeding through. Oh no, look, the tape came off where the, uh, the probably the shrink wrap pulled it off. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tall tumbler paper to the right height. What is that doing? That's supposed to be a done tumbler, but I mean, can cooler, but we can. It's going to act monkey. And because for me, because it's um, because it's that metal can cooler thingy, I'm not super worried about it being there too long. So just because my timer is going off, I don't care. Oh, did I tell you to stop? Oh, no, I told the wrong thing to stop. All right, let me get a mitt. I had one out here. I thought. Now this is going to frustrate me a little bit because that tape came off and it shouldn't have. Alright, so I'm going to take a peek at it. Look, oh no! I mean it got on there a little bit, but it should have been on there better. And if I try to put that back on there, it's not going to be right. So... when you don't shrink wrap properly. But like I said, this is mine. So look, look, look at that hot food mess back there. Oh my God. I'm gonna sit this closer to me. All right, y'all, so we are going to try, oh, I'm letting that all my heat. We're gonna try that again. But this time, we're going to shrink wrap it with the whole shrink wrap thing, right? So, let me put y'all back onto the thing. Tell that to print. Tell this to move so I can see the chat. So, the issue was the shrink wrap wasn't tight enough. The issue is the shrink wrap came off. That's what the issue was. When I cut the shrink wrap, can y'all see me? I think you can. When I cut the shrink wrap, yeah, the um, seam, I had the, or either my heat tape wasn't strong enough, one of the two, but the heat tape popped when I was shrink wrapping it. And I've had that problem happen before when I was, okay, so here's my babies. I put my babies on, even though none of them are babies literally none of them um but for my kids and i'm going to put them on 
this mug. I mean, this, uh, you know, because look, without the thing, the ring, this can still be used as a tumbler. I mean, full, legit tumbler. Okay. And again, it has this extra hanging off at the bottom. So I'm going to trim this. And uh, make sure that I don't have this overhang because that, that overhang is what causes the wobbly bubblies. And then once we um, do that, I'm just going to do the full shrink wrap thing. I'm not going to not use the shrink wrap. I'm going to cut the shrink wrap, rather, I should say. Okay. Again, with these little scissors, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, not just down there. There is our puzzle. It's done printing. Oh, I did tell it to do. All right. So again, lining it up at the top, I'm wrapping this all the way around, starting with the picture that I definitely don't want overlapped. Or, yeah, overlap is the right word. Oh. Had bigger scissors than right here. Where am I? Right here. Trim that now. I am going to use my heat tape again. I'm trusting you, heat tape. You need to do better. Do better, heat tape. Probably because I've got like the bargain basement heat tape off of Amazon. I'm sure, it's my fault. When I should have bought heat tape from Dye Trans. This time I'm rubbing it to make sure that it's definitely up on here. Okay. And now we're going to get our shrink wrap, which is still too long. So I'm going to cut some of this. And again, the shrink wrap can be purchased. This type where it's already a tube for you can be purchased at dietrans.com. The oven is big enough for the tall tumbler. And I'm talking about the 30 ounce with the where it's narrow at the bottom and goes wider at the top. It is tall enough for that. I have sublimated one of those in this oven. Tape around the top so fumes don't escape. I actually love cricket heat tape. I haven't heard of the heat tape. Tape around the top so the fumes don't escape. Hadn't heard that before, Mom. But we're going to tape around the top. You hope mine, huh? You hope my. I tape mine like someone trying to steal it. I don't know why. Oh, because the thing was in my way. So I guess going this way too won't hurt anything. Over tape, under, under deliver. All right, so. Turn that off so we can use the heat gun. All right, so into the shrink wrap we go. And see, I'm not, I am not good at. Drink wrapping and what is extra. But I guess in a way it doesn't matter. The whole point is for it to hold it to the cup.
All right, y'all. That doesn't look like it's going to pop apart. So we're going to go back into the oven with this one. Did you want to watch the oven cam? Let me know and I'll move the um, thing to the oven cam. That time I put it in oh, upside down. Now, I printed out McQuackens for the puzzle. So he's sitting on the printer, ready to go. We don't need the oven for that one. We just need the heat press for that one. Oh, glove. I, I have an oven glove thingy. And what I've been doing is I've been remodeling because I, I have, this is studio here. And then I have an extra room in the house for storage, um, not st storage, but storage and organization. So I'll have a sublimation section with all my extra stuff for sublimation um, and sublimation blanks. And then I'll have a uh, rhinestone section, vinyl section, yada, yada. So yes, you can. Thank you. So the... Um, and I'm talking in good I say no kind of timer. Um, the problem is I'm painting. We ripped up the carpet. So all of the stuff out of that room, anything dealing with any of my extra stuff is just in my living room right now. And stuff is everywhere. So I have no clue where my old glove is. So that's pretty much what that boils down to. So as far as my... Um, oh, glove is concerned. I'm having to use a pot holder because I don't know what I did with the. I ha and I have two actual. Have two of them. I don't know where they are. So, the other one is the there's our trusty bottle. Um, do flotchy. Cooler. Bottle holder cooler. McQuackens all ready for sublimating on the puzzle. Not sure if you answered my question as my kids keep distracting me, so please forgive me for asking again. But have you ever used transfer paper for regular inkjet printers? And do you have any tips? Um, transfer paper. I have used transfer paper for regular inkjet printers. Um, you just need to make sure you have a really good transfer paper. I've bought some off of Amazon before, and I've bought some off of, um, Ditrans.com, actually. And I love the Nina Soft Jet. Well, it depends on what you're, you're trying to, excuse me right now. It depends on what you're trying to. Um, use it on. So if you're doing a t-shirt, then I love the Nina Soft Jet. And they sell it at Dye Trends. And I think they sell it on Amazon too, actually. But they say Nina, it doesn't mean that's actually what you're getting sometimes. So, But when I order from Dye Trends, I know that's what it is. And then uh, find high quality pictures. Make sure that my photos are top quality. Alright, so if you are still interested in the puzzle, uh, the second person, I now I'm going to do a teddy bear as well with McQuackens on it. Can't remember who the second person said. She said she wanted a puzzle too. Don't 
All right, our time is about up for our tumbler. And here is McQuackens for our second puzzle. Hopefully it's not too big. And this was the can cooler. This was the bottle cooler. Is the oven turned back on? Shut up. Did I not turn it back on? Of course not. Thank you. Can you tell can you tell can you tell it's crazy? It's crazy around here. So I'm gonna reset my time. So since we reset the timer, I know y'all don't want to sit and look at a cup. You might want to sit and look at a cup. But I'm going to show you something cooler. So we'll let the cup cook. We'll let the cup cook. Who was that that said is the, the thing power lighted? No. Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. I swear. Some days going, going live is amazing because you just never know what's going to happen. And I, it's a challenge every time. And I love it. So, here is McQuackens, and hopefully, it might be still hot enough, but I'm just going to let it, it's, it's not going to, well, it can overcook, technically, it can burn, uh, so I'll keep an eye out on the edges and make sure it's not burning. How many would you do at the same time in the oven? Knowing me, no more than two, but that's my personal preference. So here is the heart-shaped puzzle. This was the first one that I offered. And we're going to do a purple McQuacken heart on here. And what I'm going to do, um, Dietrans also has this absolutely gloriously wonderful miracle spray. I love this spray. I don't know if if you would ever understand how somebody could love a spray. I love this spray. This is like liquid gold in a can. And you get it from Dietrans. And the nozzle barely gums up. It sprays evenly. I don't have a bunch of drips and splotches when, as if I were to spray with some of the other stuff. And it is for adhering your sublimation transfer to the to your harder substrates. So like I wouldn't use this with the tumblers, um, but I would use this with cutting boards or like this puzzle or hard or t-shirts. Oh my gosh, this is perfect, perfect for shirts. You spray this and then it'll stick to it. So I wouldn't use it with the hard stuff, but I would use this with the, actually not cutting boards, sorry, that's hard. Um, I would use this with your uh, substrates that you need this to stick to and it just takes barely a spritz on it and it will stick and it stays until it heat presses and then it comes right out it's just it's some awesome stuff it's a little pricey but it's well worth it all right so i'm going to lay this on here and I got McQuackens. He's pretty big, so there's going to be some overlap there. Let me make sure it's straight. My goodness. You don't want McQuackens to go all the way across country and he's crooked. That wouldn't be cool. All right. And so now here we have our felt puzzle. Tried to get the spray and shipping was expensive. Yeah, it, it's pricey, but I promise you, um, two cups at what temp for how long? I would do the same temperature. Hey, babe. My daughter's in here. She's going to get to see herself on a cup. Hey, J uh, Jay is in here as well. Um, so here's one puzzle. And we're going to go ahead and put this on the um, heat press after I take this out the oven. All right. So I'm going to reach in and grab this. I'm not going to switch the camera over. And then I'm going to turn off the oven because I only had the two cups. All right. So 
when it, you can kind of see it did turn a little yellow so it looked like it might have burned a little bit again I personally don't care because it's mine but presentation is everything right yeah it did burn a little bit on the outside so hopefully it didn't burn too bad on the inside I suggest to cut the shrink wrap while it is hot because once this shrink wrap cools it's a booger to get up under it to cut it but that means some fancy fancy schmancy hurry up and get it done type type maneuvers because you can and will burn fingers and whatnot if you don't have an oil glove or something like that like was mentioned earlier and after I take this off I'm gonna let it sit and cool just a itty bitty bit there we go never mind ah, shrink wrap is off go skizzer go go gadget skizzers that turned out so pretty i mean i shouldn't be surprised because i've done tumblers before but here are my babies y'all look omg that turned out super cute so it didn't burn at all. The paper burned, but the cup didn't burn. See? These are the boys. There are three. Um, yeah, three boys. And in this picture, it's showing four because one is a son-in-law. And then there are three girls, but I have two bonus son daughter-in-laws. So these are all my children and three of my grandchildren. The oldest, then the next one, and then the next one is there. And I have um, more grandchildren now that are not on this cup that eventually they'll have their own cup. But didn't that turn out cute? Go us. Go us. See, when stuff turn out right. Um, all right. So we're going to set that back there to cool. And now we're going to press the puzzle. Now, the bad thing is I can point the camera that way, but the camera won't reach, y'all. I'm sorry. So I'm going to point the camera that way over toward the heat press, and y'all will get to see some of my crazy jumbled up studio. All right, let me fix this. There we go. Now we'll turn you. There's my heat press way over yonder. No, we don't want to focus on this. Look at all of that craziness over there, y'all. Oh my God, how can you work in such craziness? Well, I do. All right, and here is the heart-shaped puzzle. I'm going to lay this transfer side up. I didn't read any instructions. We're just going to go on the fly with this one. Here is the parchment paper that I use. I use this from Sam's. You get two, I think, for like $11 or something like that. And they last me forever. From what I understand, you also can find... From what I understand, you also can find um, big rolls of, of like packing paper or something at U-Haul, and that works just as well, too. Um, so I'm just going to do my basic 60 seconds because most of your sublimation items, especially the softer items like air fresheners, um, felt items like this puzzle, those glasses, Roughly about 30 to 45 seconds, so I'm just gonna do 60 just because why not? We gonna we're playing around, we're experimentation mode right now. We already um shrink wrap experiment gone wrong and then shrink wrap experiment gone right. So now we're gonna go with this. <laughs> but I love sublimation. There's so much that you can do. Um I did a cutting board the other day. 
and the paper shifted on me a little bit, but I have a cutting board. I've done keychains, um, just all kinds of fun stuff. And I love sublimation. So let's peel this off. And here we have a heart shape hot Sir McQuacken's puzzle. All right. Cute. Him's cute. Probably could have made him smaller, but him's cute. So here is the puzzle. And we have another puzzle that we can do really quickly. Well, not really quickly, but we can do. And then I'll show you the glasses. So here was the puzzle. The puzzle turned out really pretty. The colors is rich, are rich and vivid. I absolutely love that. So where is the teddy bear? Actually, let's put some. I'm going to make him smaller this time. And put him on the teddy bear. The teddy bear has more curves and notches than the heart. Cute! OMG! I'm gonna have to hang him up somewhere. He's cute. Let's make another one and hang him. Alright, I put the paper in. Let's hit print. Oh, wait a minute. So our I know Jay, isn't that cute? That was real cute. Tell us about that onesie. <laughs> EJ's daughter. <laughs> um the onesie is uh Fenty Rihanna's uh onesie. I saw it on I wanna say Facebook or something. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. It's so dark. And, you know, I don't have the young body to go with it, but I just thought it was super cute. So I decided to give me a one. To, oh, the teddy bear puzzle. Y'all throwing me off my groove. Huh? As if I wasn't already off the groove. How am I going to say y'all do it? Teddy bear is right here. Okay. And my spray. I need my spray. Spray. Here's the teddy bear. Yeah, these feel just almost just like the air fresheners, y'all. So it's probably the same material. But this is the teddy bear. And we're going to sublimate the front. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but the front has a little more texture to it than the back. The back is like super smooth. Um, I guess you could sublimate either side, but this side looks to be where the sublimation would go. Or well, that's what I sublimated on the other one. So on this one, yeah, I didn't sublimate the back. Just for a sake of time, 
And then here's our teddy bear, and I'm just going to lay it on top, just like so. Make sure more, I'm trying to make sure more of McQuackens is showing in the teddy bear than not. Okay. All right. Put your paper on the bottom, put your paper on the top, and press. So again, this is the felt puzzle. Um, we also had, let me go ahead and open up the glasses so that you can see what that consists of. Can you reuse the parchment paper or do you need a new sheet each time? Um... I personally say use a new sheet each time, and I'll show you why. This is the one that I used first. And I don't know how well you can see. There's an imprint of McQuackens on this butcher paper, on, on this paper. So if I were to reuse it, there's a chance that this, uh, some of this ink that came on here will get on the next project. Um, and because this project is white, even though I'm sublimating the whole thing, if I was just sublimating one little image and the rest was white, this could potentially transfer to the rest of the image, and I don't want that. See it transfer just a little bit on there too. You don't, you definitely don't want that transfer over that bleed over onto your next project. So, and you can even see on here, this was on the bottom, and you don't definitely don't want to reuse this and then have some of that purple get off on your next project. So I always, I throw it away. It's inexpensive enough to be able to get it. And so here's our teddy bear puzzle. Hot teddy bear puzzle with it. And here is our teddy bear. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Look at that, how cute! Oh, and there's pieces all in there to do the puzzle. See? That's neat. Awesome sauce! So here we are. We did two puzzles, two coolers, can, one can cooler, one bottle cooler, all sublimation, one sublimation with the oven, and one sublimation Two, sorry, two sublimation with the oven and two sublimation with the heat press. And just really quick to show you the other thing they sent that we'll do this project probably live, Facebook Live, one day this week. So that you can see the rest of the stuff. But these are it's the same material as the puzzle. But see, they're they're glasses. And you put them put them together. And then they have this up here so this can say something like happy retirement or um happy anniversary. I don't know why you would wear silly glasses for that or for those um all, any and all of those different celebrations can you can make little glasses or graduation you could put the graduate picture here that would be super cute if we went to graduations anymore so yes these are totally adorable um, and we'll probably do these and the other ones with the stars up at the top for a Facebook live I think that would be totally fun so meanwhile, let me cut this heat press. Y'all, 
Look at here. What did I tell you? I had gloves. These I got from Dollar Tree. And these are the silicone gloves. Two pair my mom gave me to use. A sublimation. Where were they? Over here by the heat press. So anyways, like I said, that's how it goes over here in crazy town in the hoop group town. We never have dull moments around here and I appreciate that. That's never really an issue for me. I enjoy it. It's fun. Our can cooler, a little fuzzy, but that's okay. I'm a little fuzzy around the edges. So this one is mine. This is my can cooler. Like I said, I'm even going to enjoy my ginger ale after the show in my can cooler. I'm going to take it back there and drink it so that my honey can see himself on a can cooler. Can cooler. And then we have a totally adorable, now completely cool, um, bottle cooler, which I don't have a bottled drink right now. And I meant to see, let's see if this bottled water will fit in there. So that we'll know. For science! For research. Nope. My bottled water doesn't fit. So this is definitely a, you know, bottle drink, glass bottle drink. And then you put it in and you're able to enjoy it. But for me, to be honest, I'll probably just use it like this and use it as a cup. Because you can still use it as a cup, even without the lid. So, because I'm going to get to see my babies. And then we also did two puzzles. Now, these were done on the heat press, 400 degrees, or I did 60 seconds. Oh, see, this also, this is what can happen when you don't use uh, the butcher paper to protect it. You can have some sublimation ink residue left, and it will uh, press on the back side of your stuff. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a faint yellowish, kind of looks like... Somebody might have spilled something on it or whatever, but that's what happens when you don't use butcher paper on both sides to protect, you know, to keep, make sure that what you want sublimated is what's sublimated. So we did a heart-shaped puzzle and we did a teddy bear puzzle. Notice the teddy bear doesn't have that, you know, ghosting on the back. So here we have our teddy bear and we have our heart. So this was a lot of fun. Um, thank you to Ditrans um, Conde Systems for sending us this awesome stuff to sublimate to show you how that works. Um, you can get uh, the link is in the description below for Ditrans. As I mentioned, when you call them, let them know that the baby's booty referred you to them because they will offer you extra discounts. Uh, coupons that you can use with your thank you Miss Carol Coleman I appreciate that um so thank y'all for joining us I apologize for missing any let's see any other why well, no Teflon sheet Beth asked I do have a Teflon sheet uh, but it's on the very very bottom and as Scooby-Doo pointed out Teflon tends to retain moisture um, and you could tell if I were to take that Teflon off the very bottom because I have two sheets of Teflon that stay on my heat press at all times. But when I'm sublimating stuff like that, especially the felt t-shirts, anything soft, I'll put butcher paper on top of the Teflon. Because this first puzzle where I showed you the ghosting, I did not put butcher paper on top of the Teflon. And the Teflon retains some sublimation ink. So that's why I prefer the butcher paper because I can throw it away. I know it won't contaminate the next sublimation project and then I can move on I don't have to worry about it so that's why I don't use uh, Teflon Carmen yes it will be headed there please don't forget to email me your address um, let me go back up because I want to be sure that I saw um, what I saw Oh, Margo, my dad is totally awesome. He's six weeks into recovery, so he has 
two weeks left and he is super, super expensive, uh, super expensive, super excited to be over. Yes, I did say oven vision. Huh? Um, Carol Coleman, my oven is the Hamilton Beach XL. I have the Hamilton Beach XL. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it is back this way. Um, yeah, that Darth Vader picture would have been boss on um, a mug or a cup tumbler. Felicia Storm. Felicia Storm, uh, send me your address and I'll send you the teddy bear. Felicia Storm, send me your address and I'll um, send you the teddy bear. Okay? So, thank y'all. It's two minutes after. Sorry for keeping you a little bit longer. Um, totally, totally enjoyed uh, sublimating with you guys tonight. Um, and we have a lot to look forward to next week. So be on the lookout for what's to come. But again, thank you to Die Trans for the awesome blanks that we were able to sublimate and have some fun with. Even though I messed up the first one, but it's okay. It's still going to keep my can cold and I can still see me and my honey looking super cute on our porch swing. And I love it anyway. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. I look forward to doing more sublimation for the glasses and Facebook Live this week. So if you're not in the Facebook Hoop group, you're going to miss out on that video. So definitely pop over there, join the Hoop group, and we'll uh, sublimate probably uh, midweek sometime and get that video out and about. So thank y'all for joining us this evening. I appreciate it. If I missed something that you wanted to ask, I apologize. Um, but we were sublimating, and I was away from the camera and trying to make sure that we did more damage control. <laughs> So thank you. I appreciate y'all joining us. Yes, I'm glad to be feeling better and back in the saddle and ready to roll for 2021. So thanks and look forward to seeing you guys next week, 9 p.m. here on the Baby's Booty channel. So thanks. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs>